Hey everybody, welcome to my new video. So this video is about a topic that is really clear and near and dear to my heart. Uh, over 25 years, I have taught hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people programming. Now, the program uh, study where I taught was essentially a uh, Microsoft environment and I was always a bit of a radical in that I taught Linux. I think it's my experience and my, my love of Linux that made me love Apple so much. I think that this video is really for people who want to take up programming apps. I believe that programming and writing apps and as we go forward, there's going to be a aspect of that where artificial intelligence or machine intelligence becomes an increasing aspect of the development experience. But to get started, maybe you just want to be a independent person, write apps, put them on the app store, make some money, be able to pay your rent and live and eat or all the way up to starting a big development team or working your way up to that, I think uh, from this point is, is more appropriate. So I'm gonna look at some aspects. I wanna take a brief intro to Xcode. Each snippet of uh, video in this particular episode is just a snippet, it's just a overview to, to give you an idea of what's there. So we're gonna look at Xcode, which is Apple's development environment, uh, which is extremely mature and it is uh, well-made. Then we're gonna take a look at Apple's freely available tutorials. If you're not already a programmer, then Apple makes tutorials available for you so that you can look, go through those tutorials and work your way through examples and learn how to program for free. I think Apple says it takes something like 16 hours to get through their entire set of tutorials. And that will teach you something about creating apps for iOS and a little bit about creating apps for OS X. Then we're gonna move into a little bit on design. And that's really important because Apple puts a huge emphasis on design. If you look at the, the products, you'll realize that there was a lot of thought and care that went into creating those products. So we're gonna take a little bit of a look at their design materials. They spend a lot of time. Again, the materials are available for free. Then we're gonna close it out. And um, that will be our, our, our wrap for this video. I've been away for a little while, haven't made a video in about a month. So really happy to make this video, sort of getting my, uh, my st myself back into the mode of making videos, which is also fun. So I will let you watch the, the main feature of this, and then I'll come back to you. Apple's interactive development environment is a product called Xcode. And Apple makes this absolutely free for you to download and use. I just go to the App Store and type in and do a search on Xcode and download it and install it. Now that's a time consuming process, even on my, on my internet here with a two terabyte or two gigabyte down, uh, that's a long process. So I've already done it. And just for to demonstrate, I'm gonna open a project that I did using the tutorials that Apple provides. And this is called Dice Roll. And I'm just going to compile this. And it wants me to open up my phone because it will actually install the uh, build on the phone. But I'm just going to open up the preview here on, the, on my screen so that you can see it here. And give it just a second to come up. And abracadabra, it should appear. Here we go. So this is the app 
is a dice roller, so it gives you random numbers, things like that. And somewhere here I've got a control that uh, actually allows me to have multiple dice and so on. But it's kind of a cool little, little app, and it's just something that you would write as a beginning project. Um, after you've done Apple's tutorials, if you're not, if you're if you're a beginner, if you're an experienced programmer, you can just jump right into this and start writing apps and start writing programs for the Mac environment and so on. I think that Xcode is really cool because it does allow you to write for all these environments and because it's a mature system it is well debugged it is not flaky it is professional the tutorials are professional apple is a multi-trillion dollar company everything they do is done well apple provides a really mature system of support for developers and if i was to do a search here and look for apple Swift to oops, tutorials. I actually can find a complete um, curriculum of study that will allow me to learn how to program in the Apple environment. So these tutorials are, I, as far as I've found, they're broken down into two levels. One is developing for iOS, and the other one is developing for the OS X platforms. And all you do is click on Get Started, and I believe there is something like 16 hours of instruction in these pages as you work through it. So this is really a phenomenal system. I haven't seen too many other systems in however many years I've been doing this where a company has put this kind of effort into not just providing support for developers, but I think with respect to giving you a leg up and giving everybody an opportunity to do well in the technology environment. So I'm just going to open a tab on my browser, focus, and I'm going to go to Apple Developer and Design. And the thing I want to look at here is the develop the designer tools. So Apple is really, really adamant about their design principles and that in order to be successful, your apps really need to adhere to those principles. So their principles of simplicity, and operability and usability. Uh, they want the apps to be attractive to the eye. You want your apps to be attractive to the eye. You want your users to be impressed with what you produce. If the users are having a good experience using your product, then obviously they're going to use your product more and that is really good for you. So Here's an overview of their design guidelines and they give you web pages and lots of information on all of the elements of what Apple considers important about the design of applications. So I recommend that you, you look at these pages. This again, this is all free from Apple. talks you about getting started and gives you some some basic videos and gives you some basic tutorials on the elements of design and some more guidelines 
and then resources. So as far as design tools, they really recommend two different packages. One is called Figma, and I've not used Figma to any, any degree, so I'm not going to talk to you about it. What I will talk to you about is Sketch. So let's talk a little bit about Sketch. So Sketch is an interesting application and it is available by subscription or you can just pay, uh, I think it's like $120 and buy it one time for the year and just, and then just have it for the year and then update it every year. I opted for the monthly plan myself. And when we look at their webpage, uh, what you, you'll notice about Sketch is that it provides you with the tools to actually design just about anything you want. So if you wanted to design a new, um, say, an icon, then Sketch provides you with everything you need to provide to, to design icons. If you want to design a pamphlet for a business or you wanted to design Instagram posts, or you wanted to make headers for YouTube videos, all kinds of things that you can do with Sketch. Now, one of the more important things that I think is that I, I notice about Sketch is that Sketch provides you with uh, video lessons. So this is the Welcome to Sketch, Sketch 101. And I think they have 16 videos in this level of, of learning. And then we can go back and we can look at Sketch 102. And we can look and there are a bunch of videos here. I'm not too sure how many, probably put another 16 videos or so. So by the time you've gone through those videos, it will teach you all of the elements of using Sketch. I am still learning Sketch. I come from an old fashioned background in my own programming career. Uh, mostly I've written co my code using command line tools. And when I, a bunch of years ago, when I was in university working on my, for, on my bachelor's, we used these interactive, what we called rad tools in those days. I refer to Xcode as a RAD tool. RAD is Rapid Application Development. In other words, they provide you with the objects and all you have to do is write the methods. And it's a really cool way to write programs. Sketch allows you to, to not only to create elements for your programs, but also to storyboard your programs and to make mock-ups of what your, your screen should like, look like and so on which is all really essential to the Apple design method and the, app, the way that Apple does it. So if you want to take your Apple development career into the next level, then you probably will want to get a developer account through Apple Developer. So Apple Developer provides you with all of the information that you need. It also provides you with the opportunity to, to have an app, Apple developer account uh, that will allow you to create apps and then sell your apps on the App Store. It also gives you access to beta versions of the software. I think it costs around $120 or something per year to be an Apple developer. I'm not going to log in um, because I believe that the contents of the website is covered by my non-disclosure. But what I would say to you is that the Apple developer website has all the tools. It has everything you need. Plus it provides you with the information and the hints and tips and so on. One more thing that I'm going to talk to you guys about, and that is the developer app. So Apple has an app that's called Apple Developer, 
and you can download it off the App Store. I've already done it, so I've already got it on my computer. So I'm just going to open it up here and pull it in. So Apple Developer just is almost like a newsletter. It keeps you up to date with what Apple's doing. And I suppose that as you get into deeper levels, you get bigger into your app development career. Apple has more, you know, insider goodies and things like that. Uh, one of the most important attributes of the uh, developer app is that it provides you with all of the videos and the workshop information from Apple's worldwide developer conferences going back um, at this point it's going back to 2014. I think that's really important because if you go to any year so 20 uh, so we're at 2023 let's go to 2024 and if we want to know about watch OS Here's everything we want to know about watchOS. By the way, once you've gotten into it, you'll realize that this uh, little logo was done with Sketch. So when I, when I talk to you guys about Sketch, Sketch is what Apple uses internally. I spent a lot of time studying uh, the, the philosophies of Johnny Ives and looking at the tools that Apple recommends. And I learned about a lot of this by watching the videos in the uh, WWDC past. I've been attending online. I've been attending WWDC for years and years and years. It's a super cool tool. Uh, you'll find here videos that will talk to you about Pretty much any aspect of developing that you want to look at. Everything from Apple's AI efforts to Apple Vision to how to program for the watch, how to use um, Swift UI, all these things. And there are video tutori tutorials from Apple engineers. So I think that this is something else that you need. And remember, this is all free. It's like a big community of Apple developers that are, are just sort of working together and supporting each other. So I hope you liked that. Uh, it's just a survey. It's not intended to teach you how to program or turn you into a big time app developer. That will come in time. This is just about giving you an idea of how to set yourself up and, and what you need to study. The topics that we just talked about are maybe a year, two years to learn all of that reasonably thoroughly. I'm hoping that you liked the video. Um, remember that coming up in June will be WWDC, so you can register for that for free and get into labs and activities and watch videos and lectures and so on and learn even more. So hopefully you liked the video. If you did, please give her a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video in a few days. I'm off to a conference and after the conference, I will be posting a video on B-Sides Vancouver, which is our local uh, security conference for computer security nerds, of which I am one. So anyways, Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye now.